I would say we have really, really achieved a lot. And I guess that not a lot of people expected us to be so successful in setting up the office in a record time. Because actually we were supposed to have one year to set it up. We did it in nine months. And we then uh, became operational. And I, I have to say, I mean, we registered our first case on the first day at seven o'clock in the morning. I think it shows really this enthusiasm and commitment which uh, we all have here at EPPO. I would say first of all I think we've done an amazing job so far. <laughs> it's not been easy starting from scratch a new organization, something that doesn't exist in the national member states. Uh, it was difficult to be able to neg negotiate and uh, create this idea into practicalities but after all Academics, practitioners, uh, EU enthusiasts, they all made it work. Something for which you normally would have needed like three months to organize this. It was perfect to do it in six weeks. And uh, it was coordinated then by the European Delegated Prosecutor handling the case with the help of other colleagues in several member states. We're talking about three, uh, three member states in which this action this, uh, took place at the same time. And um, just uh, after, after, after we had this action day, within the period of uh, four months, we not only get the case before t into trial, we get an entitlement, we have already defined the first final conviction in this case. I think this shows how much EPPO is a game changer. The cross-border cases are one of the most important because it is exactly there where we have the biggest teams. It's exactly there when we can manage to work with as many delegated prosecutors as possible, with investigators as well. So they're also one of the most interesting cases as well. On the other hand, the way the international cooperation goes so much more fluent than it happened before um, since the EPPO exists and within the framework of the EPPO is throughout every case um, really something that, that keeps amazing me every day. The door is always open uh, for other colleagues to, to, uh, to ask questions and, and to exchange experiences and I think this is very important because this is the only way that the organization really can uh, grow and we can learn from each other. So when I uh, need information from, um, uh, for example, from Italy, I only have to uh, call my colleague or write him an, uh, an email via our case management system and uh, he will uh, do my task uh, on the short end. And this is a really big advantage um, to working together in one office um, all over Europe, nearly all over Europe. You know what I want to say? Yeah. It's actually that I'm surprised that when we meet our fellow EDP colleagues whom I've not all met, every one of them has a motivation that you don't always find in other jobs. Everybody's determined, however hard it is, to really tackle this kind of, of fraud and to really make a difference. And that is such a major difference with everything else I've ever done before professionally. We're the first supranational uh, prosecution office ever in the world, which means, of course, that you have to create a lot of things. I'm sure that in five, ten years, uh, our business will be settled that everything which we are doing now, as some colleagues say, we're doing it for future generations. And I'm absolutely convinced that we are this game changer, that we will change the whole landscape of, protect, of the protection of the financial interests of the union. I hope EPP will, will be a successful institution. One means success, to gain the trust of the citizen and to become a very strong, efficient and independent institution. From an HR point of view, well, already this year we started uh, with 130 people in our central office. We'll be uh, almost 250 by the end of the year, plus 140 in the decentralized function. So almost 400 people just one year after starting. Well, you can imagine where that can lead us if we have uh, broader competencies in the future. Maybe thousands of people, who knows? A really uh, important uh, European body. My wish for EPPO is to become a standard, a benchmark for all the prosecutor offices in the world. I hope the EPPO will 
keep this this feeling of, of something new and exciting uh, also for the colleagues because I have experienced that starting here coming here this first day in the college meeting meeting my new colleagues it was it was exciting we we're doing something new and I hope that that the EPPO will keep that feeling and that everybody will be as enthusiastic and driven uh, as we are now for all our guests bringing us birthday presents like enough stuff and enough resources and uh, what else that we can keep the work uh, growing the way it is right now. It is um, more than just, just an honor and a privilege. It's really also fun working here. And it's uh, such a pleasure to work with so many dedicated, highly dedicated and committed people all across uh, here, the, the central office, but also in, in, in the member states. And this, uh, this whole spirit of creating something completely new, I hope that we can keep this as much time as possible. Happy, Happy birthday, EPPO! Be strong! <laughs> <laughs>